Hello, it's Courtney here and this is little sweetheart. Speaking of sweethearts, Valentine's Day is coming up this Sunday and I wanna share a quick recipe for you using some chocolate. Sound good? Awesome. So I have some melted chocolate. It's, I've been working with chocolate for the past hour so I feel like there's probably chocolate everywhere. So I melt this over a double boiler. Microwaves are absolutely a swear word. I'm sorry, but yes, 100% they are not promoting health. So I have melted chocolate, 100% chocolate chips, these guys right here, and I add a little bit of coconut oil. So there is no sugar. If you're uh, interested in sweetening this, I would use monk fruit sweetener, okay? So simple recipe. This is like fast, five, 10 minutes, done. Something for your sweetheart. And you know, I'm just planting the seed here. You're, you can go on and think of some other ideas. But these, I just added Brazil nuts. Beautiful Brazil nuts. I think it's a nut that is, you know, kind of not used that much. And there's a lot of nutrients in here. So whenever you are cooking and enjoying all the delicious foods that are in the world, consider a varied and diverse diet. So I think we often will just buy almond milk. Like that's our thing, almond milk. Well, don't forget there's, you can make cashew milk, you can make macadamia nut milk, you can make walnut milk. So same thing with, you know, chocolate covered nuts change it up, use different types of nuts. So I also have macadamia nuts. These are so beautiful and kind of, you know, like luxurious in a way, sometimes hard to find, a little bit pricier. So perfect for Valentine's Day, just a little extra special. I'm coating them in this glistening, beautiful chocolate. You, It doesn't take much to melt chocolate. Chocolate melts at 96 degrees. So um, all you really need to do is turn your double boiler on, bring it to a boil, and then turn it off. So this is how I melt chocolate. A little pot like this, one inch, one inch of water, water not touching the bowl. Turn the water on, pretty much bring it to a boil and shut it off and that'll be enough to melt your beautiful 100% organic chocolate. So now I have these nuts. We're gonna get a little crazy here and add some, there's chocolate all over me. Mm, delicious. Add, add some smoked cinnamon. Yes, smoked cinnamon. This is so fun, we're making smoked cinnamon and chocolate covered nuts with a little bit of sea salt. So this is coffee salt from my buddy Ben Jacobson up there in Oregon in Neat Hearts Bay, harvesting some beautiful salt and I'll just put some on there. I'll put these in the refrigerator. And now I have a beautiful keto friendly chocolate little treat. And if you wanna take it to another level, you can put them in little containers like these. I chose the rose gold, so pretty. Uh, so that's it, just a quick little tip with chocolate, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, cardamom, uh, allspice are all best friends with chocolate. So I'm using smoked cinnamon from my buddy Lior in New York City, La Boite Spice Company, but all kinds of flavors go well with chocolate. So have fun, make some chocolate covered nuts and uh, sweeten the chocolate with a little bit of monk fruit or you could use a little honey or a little maple syrup, but keep it low sugar. Thanks for watching, see you next time.